So people are confused. The commonly asked question is, what exercises to do? And the answer is, you don't complicate it. And you stick to the basics. And it's the, it depends upon the rep range you can do. If you can do 20 at a time, then it's probably a good idea to, you know, pick a variation that you can only do for 5 to 10 reps. Because by research, we all know that the moderate rep range is the best rep range for strength, both strength and muscle growth. Okay, so focus on the basic and know your rep range. If you can do the golden five in the gym, you can only you can also do the golden five at home. Okay, for example, this is a variation of the pull-ups or the lat pull down. Okay, the vertical pulling. You can also do it at home as long as you know how to train smart, okay? which is you know knowing your biomechanics like what we talked about before, the torso. Okay, is it leaning forward or straight torso? What what muscles are you hitting? Okay? So that's number one. Number two is you know the rep range. For example, I can do only do this five at a time. So I can stick to this for one more month before I can do possibly 10 reps, hopefully. I, I think that's gonna be hard, but you know, I've been doing this for two months now and I can't still do 10 at a time properly. As you can see, my, my knees are still bending, which is bad. It means you're helping your arm and your back, so that's bad. And my other arm or my other three finger arm is still pulling a little bit so that's the, that's that's an indicator that i don't have to change exercise yet So the key here is put everything on one side, put every weight of you, your body weight, as much as possible into one side and do not help as much as possible, do not help your pulling hand. So that's today's training session, okay, as you can see it's only front levers and pull-ups okay it's only two exercises i only do eight a week okay three on monday three probably on wednesday or midweek and then end of the week two exercises okay people think that if you choose exercises it's how it has to be complicated and it has to be super special no okay stick to the basic what exercises to choose stick to the basics the golden five i always emphasize on this 80 percent of your muscle growth will come from getting strong on the golden five what is that bench squat deadlift military press and or ohp and pull-ups okay you will just find home exercises that works the same muscle groups Okay, so we have a series on that. Okay, for the for the OH for this for this pull-ups, you already know the pull-ups for OHP, the handstand push-ups. For the push-ups, you can do one-arm push-ups or negative push-ups or whatever level you you can. Okay, for the deadlifts, the the front levers, the reverse deadlift, the the knee tucks or or, or hanging leg raise. Okay, or or hyper extension. It's, it's about being creative. For the squats, you can do lunges, jumping lunges. You can do pistol squats. Okay? Do exercises that still focuses on these five golden exercises. Okay? I call it golden because it's the most important. Okay? So, that's the fitness approach I want you to learn. Okay? 
it's not always that you have time for the gym. Okay, people now are posting about their, you know, hashtag home workouts just because it's quarantine. What if the quarantine is gone and you're already busy? What if there's a promotion? What if there's a a family gathering? What if something happens at work? What if something happens in your family? What if something happens in in your schedule that makes you really busy? Okay? So, pick exercises that you can sustain that's the most important that's why i only do eight exercises out of the gym or in the gym fitness for busy people five exercises the golden five and then three exercises up to you okay it depends on your what your priority is okay so hope you like this video apply this see you on the next video bye bye it's you versus you Peace.